everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX. Today, what you're looking at is the debris field that is the uh, Yamato GNU Galaxy Cyclone Briger. That's right, all of these parts make up the various modes of the Briger. There are a lot of parts. I mean, look at all those parts. That's just for the Briger. Not all parts are used in all modes. And each part is surprisingly sturdy. So we're going to go through some of this and show you what uh, what the deal is. So here is Briger in um, robot mode. To give you an idea of scale, there is the uh, Revoltec Optimus Prime. So you can see he's, uh, he's pretty big. You know, maybe, I don't know, 11 inches tall, 10 inches tall. Um, let's see. He's all plastic. He's pretty well articulated. He's, um, he's, he's light. But sturdy. Somewhat sturdy. Uh, he's got head articulation. Uh, he's got hip, hip joint. You know what, I'm going to join a stand here. wrist, claws, bendy knees, particularly feet. So, cool. You know, pretty decent figure. I mean, this on its own, nice, you know. Uh, not a lot of complaints. One complaint is there are uh, little panels here that fall off really easily. These are used when you transform the panels come out. Um, the one, one side comes out, it doesn't come out at all. It's really sturdy. The other side doesn't, and I believe it's just because the two pieces aren't seamed as well right here. So, minor QC issue. Um, but overall, they did a good job with the figure. It looks really nice, you know, in uh, robot mode. And, of course, it's got some cool accessories. The first things we got here are the bry cans. Okay. Now I'll show them to you first is that they uh they go onto the, the back of Briger. And what they'll end up doing is coming out, clicking in, coming out. They'll do something like that. So, and when you're done, you click back into place. You notice the clicky, that's a theme in this toy. It is well engineered. They thought about, you know, how can we make this do all it's supposed to do, look anime accurate, and uh, still be reasonably sturdy. So, cannons go on back, bright cannons. And like I said, they go up. And then you can just grab onto them, like so. Oh, and a lot of the little armor pieces are held on with magnets. So, yeah, they might come off if, you're, if you hit them the wrong way, but as a rule, they stay pretty secure. So, you know, the bright cannons, unfortunately, they don't shoot anything, which would be kind of neat. All right, so, in addition to the cannons, we also have the bright sword, and like a bright javelin, so... First we'll do the sword. It's pretty cool. It has a little sticker logo that you can put on yourself. Hold it well in his hands. Look over for the sword. And it's also got this neat javelin thing. Which, um... You know, sorry. That was my fault. So it can hold on to it. With a chain. Then you can also remove the chain bits. And just, you know, hold that part. Very sharp. Drag 
Roger is ready to kick some ass. Looks good. I think it looks good. Do you think it looks good? Well, leave some comments and let me know. Because feedback enables me to do better reviews for you guys. Alright, next thing we're going to talk about here is we're going to transform it into Bry Star. Um, remember that big sea of parts you saw in the beginning? Whoa, you're going to see where that comes from right now. Um, it's like a, a Lego kit in some ways. The the amount of work you got to do to transform this thing. But you know, I don't really I don't really mind it so much. Um, none of done it a few times. So th the best way I find to do this is just take it all apart and put it back together. So uh, we don't need the hands. So those plug out. A nice thing is that everything is keyed with little notches. So when you there's no ambiguity as to where they go back in. Just they go in where they're supposed to go in. Okay. So. Um, separate the torso and we'll just deal with the torso part right now all right so first thing like we said these panels they come out it's kind of an interesting thing but check this out yeah you gotta turn the legs in and then turn this part out and what will happen is you'll get that kind of effect and then you just push this part down and here it clicks. Once again, nice and clicky. This should be inside, not outside. We'll do the same thing again on the other side. Uh, legs go in. This goes like that. Comes in. Pushes down. Okay. So, now the next part. These come out. Okay. And the feet. Out, around, and clicks into place. Same thing here. All right. So you get your basic part like so. All right. So now we do the next part. This part. It comes off. Don't need it. This part comes off. Don't need it yet. These come back. The arms turn in, and also these little, uh, if I can get them off that, I have no thumbnails, so most people will be able to do this okay. Alright, so it goes like that, and the fists fit into the cavities, on, I mean the fists, the wrists fit into the cavities on the legs. something like that right now. Now, you got this cockpit piece. This has got the window. This is actually held together by magnets. One piece just goes underneath. And the other piece kind of just goes over it and clicks into place. You can pull these up and down. Okay, got it? Good. This piece goes on the front. And now you have uh, your vents that replace here. And then, show you idea how strong the magnets are. Nose cone. Clicky, clicky. But wait, there is more. They run through the bed of parts. You have these that kind of add to the wings. thing you got to do, if you want to, is that these uh, is there like a rubber panel that comes out. So I use an exacto because I don't have a. Uh, there we go. And then you put the landing gear like so. There's 
There's also the two other panels are in the back here, and I'm not going to do those because we are not going to stay in this mode for very long. So, um, there you go. It's actually, well, it's sturdy. Nothing falls off. It's, uh, I mean, it is, like I said, the pain in the ass to swap all these parts, but once you're there, it's not bad. I mean, really, I get no real complaints. It's, you know, looks pretty damn sweet. Sweet. I think actually these go like that. So, okay. So, the next thing we do is we, we're going to Bry Thunder, which, yes, involves even more part swapping. But let's get to it. All right. Wings off. Wing kind of things off. Put the feet back how they're supposed to go. This thing back over. This thing back over. Okay. So we can take this uh, apart now. These pieces come off. They, I mean, they're supposed to stay on the arms, but, I mean, everything in this toy is modular, so it's not a big surprise to come off. Okay. So, the legs. We're going to kind of undo what we did before. Twist them back into place. Alright, no. Magnets. Rock on. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're in good shape. Put you aside for a minute. All right. All right, and then that, not you, it. Oh, and those, you don't need those. So, front of the car goes in like so. Now you get these, uh, I don't know, big-ass exhaust pipes that are kind of neat. And you got this engine piece. So, the engine piece kind of goes like that and magnetically clips into place. The wheels are actually, um, I got the wrong side of the wheel. There we go. So, you slide one of those into its thing. This goes in the, uh, in the arm socket hole. Oh, sorry. That comes off. So, you take the dad off. I forgot about it. Sorry. It's only like, what, nine million pieces to figure out what to do with here. Um, boom. You got the, uh, the Bright Thunder. And what's awesome about it is it, it rolls really great. Kind of neat. Um, solid. Tires are a nice, nice rubber. Not too hard, not too soft. They spin really well. And it's got that kind of awesome 80s muscle car kind of look to it, you know. Uh, it's really sharp. Some decals you put on the side. Speaking of decals, they give you a ton of decals that honestly, I got no idea what to do with. I'm thinking I'm going to put one on my car. You know, I don't know if anyone would know what that means, but be kind of sweet. And the instructions don't really show where they go. So, I don't know. If you know, please let me know, and I'll stick them all over my breaker. So, um, it was intimidating at first, fiddly. I mean, not fiddly in terms of construction, but just, you know, you got all these parts to stick on here and there, and you got, you know, big, you know. I mean, look at, look at this, like... <laughs> Lots of parts, but kind of fun to do. I, I, I kind of enjoyable, believe it or not. Uh, what's not enjoyable? <clears throat> the price. It's like 150 bucks. <laughs> yeah, 150 bucks. Um, but once again, you know, you're dealing with a a very very small runs of very intricate detailed toys. It's not like you're buying a transformer where they make, you know tens and hundreds of thousands of them. These are, you know, 
5,000 piece runs, so the price is going to be higher. When you think of how many molds and how many uh, pieces that are involved in this, retarded. It's really like you kind of begin to understand, like, oh, that's why this costs $150. So uh, you may not know Brugger, you may never have seen the show, um, but if you're in a kind of neat, fun transforming toy and you got 150 bucks to blow, you could uh, pick one up and you could get one at Yamato USA. Uh, their online shop is YamatoToysUSA.com. They have them on the online shop. And uh, would I pay 150 bucks for it? I don't know, but that's not for me to say. Right now, I, you know, you only have so much money to go around, I guess. So yeah, here we go. Uh, Yamato's GNU Briger J9. Check it out. This is Josh from Collection DX saying. Hasta la vista, baby. ドラの星が輝く影で終わるのは雷の子玉する星から星に泣く人の涙で落ちて宇宙の始末銀河旋風ブライガーおよび戸原が即参上ゲーナイゲーナイ情け無用アステロイドベルトの心も震え出す小積もレンジャーじゃない宇宙空間スーパーシールのサプライサンダーライサンダー宇宙万光年星の煌めき飛び交うブライスカー広がるプラズマウルフのマグアアイツは銀河旋風 Ooh. <laughs